beautiful day today. I feel like everybody was in such a good mood. We had the sunshine, we had the comfortable temperatures, woke up on the cool side, so a little bit of everything today. But tomorrow, it's going to be a completely different story. We're talking the potential for isolated strong to severe thunderstorms and even the risk of an isolated tornado for our neck of the woods. Now, earlier today, 76, which is pretty much average for this time of the year, woke up a little cooler than where we should be, but again, it felt very nice. We're going to wake up a little bit warmer tomorrow morning across the board and then temperatures for the afternoon do still remain in the mid 70s 72 right now we have a dew point in the low 60s good indication that we have a moist atmosphere and that's really going to help stir things up for tomorrow it's going to help bring in some fuel for some isolated strong storms now our next storm system still over south louisiana working its way there across the gulf coast states eventually by the time it reaches us we're going to have that warm front lifting and that's going to help create a very messy scenario in fact we do have a one out of five threat here across south florida and the treasure coast and the western half of the state below us from broward down to dade even down towards the keys there's a bigger threat for even more scattered severe thunderstorms but again one or two storms could lean on the stronger side for tomorrow so we do have a good amount of rain in the forecast we have our severe weather warning day for your sunday Monday, Tuesday, impact weather, just some on and off scattered rainfall, but winds really picking up Tuesday into your Wednesday. So a whole lot of weather as we kick off that first full week of February. So let me take you through the rest of your night tonight. Looking good, stray shower near the coast. We have that warm front lifting, so that's going to help create again the scenario for scattered rain and storms ahead of it beginning a little after 10, 11 a.m., starting with the most inland areas first and then migrating to the coast. So take a look at lunchtime. We could have a couple strong storms there along Indian River County into St. Lucie and into Martin County and even into the Palm Beaches. By around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we should still see that scattered mess work its way offshore. Again, one or two storms could be on the stronger side, especially starting off with the inland communities first, migrating off to the coast. Chris Martinez and Vanessa Vanette will have you covered all throughout the mid-morning hours all the way into the afternoon when we have these storms rolling through. And then by around 1, 2 o'clock, we'll start to see better conditions from west to eastward, north to south. Eventually, some of those storms lingering there along South County clearing at least by the later second half of the afternoon hours and then the rest of the night looking very nice but it will be windy at times so just keep that in mind so the biggest threat for tomorrow will be between the hours of 11 a.m all the way through two o'clock so let me take you through your monday starting off the morning with some showers moving through the area could see some heavy rainfall at times a little bit of a break as we go into the afternoon hours but then by the late half of the day into the early evening a couple scattered showers and storms across the area and then as we head into the nighttime we're going to be dealing with with some nighttime rainfall. So that'll be another round of impact weather there Monday. One or two storms could also lean on the stronger side. So here's what we're looking at for your Sunday. We could see winds gusting into the 40s. An isolated severe thunderstorm could produce winds up to 60 miles per hour and even some hail. We could even see an isolated tornado. So something we're going to be able to look out for. But if you do see maybe a funnel cloud in the sky, let us know. Again, those are good indications that we do have a very unstable atmosphere. So mid 60s as we go into your overnight, temperatures rebounding into the mid 70s through the afternoon, rain picking up, especially for the later second half of your morning, starting off with some isolated showers first. Beach and boating conditions looking pretty nasty for tomorrow because all of the showers and storms will be moving offshore eventually. We do have a small craft advisory in effect for the waters and a coastal look for a moderate chop. So here's a look at your first morning forecast. We do have the impact weather there for your Monday, Tuesday first or rather heading into your Sunday, we are looking at severe weather days. So temperatures in the 70s, scattered rain showers and storms, at least throughout the morning through the first half of the afternoon. And then windy weather for your Tuesday into your Wednesday, much better and drier back to winter starting Thursday all the way through the following weekend. Jade? All right, thank you.